Okay, in our, in our notebooks, we want to write lesson 1.1, compare and order real numbers. The essential question for today is, how do I compare and order real numbers? And any time throughout the course of the video, press pause to give yourself more time to write down uh, the necessary information. Steps for comparing real numbers. Two steps. Step one, convert both numbers to decimal form. Make sure numbers are rounded to the same decimal place. Add zeros if necessary. So if you round a number out to two decimal places, make sure both numbers go out to two decimal places. And, and remember, you can add as many zeros at the end of a decimal um, to make sure that the place values match up. Step two, use the appropriate symbol. This is where students uh, make their most common mistake. We know which number is the largest or which number is, is smaller, but sometimes we often mix up which direction the inequality goes. So if you read example one, this is three less than four. Uh, the next example is read four is greater than three. And the last one, which we don't really have trouble with, is four is uh, equals four. Now to help us out to try to clear up some of that misunderstanding, um, the symbol points at the smaller value. So whichever direction the inequality is written, whatever direction it's pointing, it's always pointing at the smallest number. Uh, so we can flip this the other direction, and then we would be pointing at the smaller number if we were to change the direction of the, the inequality. Example one, select the correct symbol below. Now what we have to do is step one tells us convert square root of 51 to a decimal. So we just use our calculators and just remember anything that we want to access that's written in blue you always have to press the shift key or the second key. So second and the square root symbol is right above x squared type in 51 we get 7.14 and you can see it goes out along about eight or eight numbers, eight or nine numbers. So we just want to take it out to maybe two decimal places. We'll round to the 7.14. So now we want to convert this fraction to a decimal. Oftentimes students read this as 38 over 5. We just need to remember that that's the same as saying 38 divided by 5. All fractions are another way of expressing division. So if we type this in the calculator, you're just simply typing in 38 divided by 5, and we get 7.6. So 38 fifths is 7.6. Now, we want to make sure that the numbers go out to the same pl uh, decimal place. This goes out too, and we can add as many zeros as we want um, to make sure that the decimal places go out to the same place. Uh, and we're just comparing the ones, they're the same, so nothing there. Uh, one is less than six, so right here, this is telling us which number is, is the largest or which number is the smaller. Since one is less than six, we want to make sure we're always pointing at the smaller number. So our answer for this one should have been B. Example two. Write the correct symbol below. 4.4, uh, we just need to remember that 4 with the bar over top just tells us that that 4 repeats. So we can take that out 2, 3, 4, as many decimal places as we need to go. 44%, we need to remember that 44% is the same as saying 44 per 100. So we have 4. 4 bar here. Now we just simply need to convert this to a decimal. And if we were to use our calculator, 44 divided by 100 gives us 0.44. You can put a zero there if you need to. We want to take this out to two decimal places. 
Now it's just a matter of determining which number is the largest. Again, if you compare your ones, four is greater than four, so you really don't need to go any further than that. Inequality always points at the smaller number. So 4.4 bar is greater than 44%. Now, steps for ordering real numbers. Again, if you need time to write down the, the necessary steps, feel free to, to, to pause the video at any time. Step one, convert all numbers to decimal form. Make sure all numbers are rounded to the same decimal place. Add zeros if necessary. Step two, arrange numbers from greatest to least or least to greatest. This is where you have to make sure that you pay special attention to the directions. Step three, write your final answer using the original numbers, not decimal form. Let's take a look at example one. 9.6. Again, this is saying you have nine point, and we can write as many sixes as we need uh, to match our place values. 9.5. And 48 fifths, or 48 divided by 5. Square root of 9. Our first step is to first make sure we convert each number to decimal. This is already in decimal form. This number is already in decimal form. 48 fifths, or 48 divided by 5. Let's convert that to a decimal. That's going to be 9.6. So this is 9.6, and then the square root of 89, second, x squared, 89, that's 9.433, so we'll just take this out to two decimal places, that 3 is going to keep that a 3, so 9.43. Now this goes out to two decimal places, so I want to make sure that these three numbers also go out to two decimal places. 9.6, I can add a zero to match the place values, decimal values. 9.5, again I can add a zero. That bar tells us that the sixes repeat, so this is 9.6, and I'll put another six, so that all the decimal places match up. Again, the nines all have the same value. So now, I'm going from greatest to least. I've got to make sure I choose the largest number. Six is larger than five. Sixes are the same. Four is less. So I go to the next place value, comparing 9.66 and 9.60. Six is larger than a zero. So my first number that I'm going to write is going to be 9.6 bar. We don't write the decimal numbers. We write the numbers that were originally given to us. My next number, 9.60, is 48 fifths. So I write this as 48 fifths. So that takes care of these two numbers. Again, keep in mind, we're going greatest to least. So 5 is larger than the 4, so we write 9.5, and then the square root of 89 is our smallest number. Example 2. Order the following from greatest to least. Using these numbers, so we have 10.25 We have 10 and 3 sevenths. We have 11.2. 11 and 2 fifths. 109%. And 10.1. Now we just want to make sure that all these numbers are converted to decimal form. 10.25 is already in decimal form. 
we need to convert 10 and 3 sevenths uh, to a decimal. Really, the only number we need to focus on is just the, the fraction part. So we can use our calculator to convert 3 sevenths. This is 3 divided by 7. So it gives us 0.42857. Again, we'll take this out to, to two decimal places. So if we want to take it to this place value, the 8 is going to round that 2 up since it's larger than 5. So we want to take that out to 0.43. So this number is going to become 10.43. 11.2 we can leave the same. 11 and 2 fifths. Again, we don't need to focus on the 11. We just need to convert the fraction. 2 fifths. 2 divided by 5 gives us 0.4. So this is 11.4. Since that's out to two place values, I'll just add a 0 to that. So it takes us out to two decimal places. And this is 109%. Remember, this is 109 per 100. So we're going to put this in as 109 divided by 100. That gives us 1.09. 1.09. And then 10.1. So these two numbers, we need to just make sure we add zeros to to make sure our place values match. So ordering the following from greatest to least. Again, we want the largest numbers. So our 11s are larger than our 10s. So it's going to be between 11.4, 11.2. 11.4 is the larger number. So we're looking here for 11 2 fifths to be the first one. So we have three numbers or three choices that have 11 or two that have 11 2 fifths, which tells us we can actually eliminate two possibilities. It cannot be B or D. And then looking at this, we can also recognize that 1.09 is the smallest number. And if you look at these two choices, 109% is the only one that has the last uh, number. So it has to be. A can't be a C. This concludes lesson 1.1a dash B. Compare and order real numbers. Uh, hopefully, you're able to answer the essential question how do I compare and order real numbers? At this time, I'd like for you to try the U try problems.